Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, if it's your first time, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit the notification icon if you would like to be notified ASAP once a video is out. So on your screen, you're seeing the 2022 Information Technology Paper 1 exam. It's two hours and there are four questions that you have to answer. The exam consists of four questions and you have to answer all four questions. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do paper question one. So question one has A, B, C, D, and E parts, totaling 20 marks. Each part has two um, sections. So you can see 1A. 1A has two parts. B also has two parts. C is one part. And D has two parts. E, two parts all totaling 20 marks. So let's get into it. The first question asks us to circle two direct data entry devices from the following list of input devices. So I want you to realize what they're asking you. All of these are input devices. And so they're asking you for two direct entry data devices, two direct data entry devices from the list. Now, the two that I would select, they say circle. So we can go ahead and select and circle. I would choose the barcode of the barcode reader and the optical mark reader. These are two direct entry devices, all right? And as we go along, we will see how it pans out. So the next question asks us to name an application in which any one of the devices circled above, um, and they are the barcode reader, the optical mark is used and describe the date, the type of data that is captured. Now, the barcode reader, the application in which it is used is, we could say, point of sales or retail uh, point of sales, right? Um, what kind of data is captured? Remember, they ask you for two pieces of information that you will describe. The data that is captured from the barcode reader would be the product identification number. You also get the price. Um, so once the cashier scans the barcode reader, the product number would come up as well as the price of the, the product. So you would just describe those. Um, and once you name the application, you get your one mark, which is the retail point of sale system and the information gathered. They ask you for one, but the optical mark reader um, that is used for uh, multiple choice exams and it captures the answers from the exam. All right, so once again, the optical mark reader would be used for multiple choice exams and the data that is captured is the answers for the multiple choice questions. All right, now we're going to move to B and B ask us to describe what is a turnaround document. Now a turnaround document um, is, pro is produced through uh, automated data entry systems, which means you have a form that is partially completed um, or by the computer 
and then there's another section that the user will need to complete all right so um if you get a google form for example the computer would prepare a part of it and you would need to complete another part of it some application forms you see pre-filled questions on it and you need to answer the rest as the user so that is um a turnaround document turnaround document is designed to be processed through automated data entry systems where part of the document is pre-prepared and another part of it is completed by the user so always the data um, we're at the second part always explain how data is captured from a turnaround document all right so the the turnaround doc the data is captured through the use of the optical mark reader to scan the answers so either the optical mark reader or the optical character recognition they'll interpret um, whatever is written on the document it interprets um, handwriting on the document for you so that is the turnaround um, document question. Let's move to another question. C, we're still in number one. Um, and this one is determine the number of five megabyte documents that could fit on a 16 gigabyte flash drive. They ask you to show working. Now, we know um, that one thousand gigabyte is equal to one megabyte right um, now it really is a thousand and twenty four one thousand and twenty four we we usually round it off to a thousand but they say show all working for two marks now if you're gonna show working how I would do it is either because it's it's a 16 gig um, and you can either round it off or using the 1024 1000 um, so 16 would be 16,000 if you were to multiply the 16 gig by 1000 and then divide it by the 5 megs right so 16,000 if you're showing working you could also use a 1024 but because it's so much easier to round it off to a thousand, I don't think they'll um, mark you down because we usually round it off to a thousand. So you can choose which way you want to work it out. 1024 times 16 divide by five or 1000 times 16 divide by five. And I think you're going to get 32 pieces of 32 pieces of documents. So it asks you to determine the number of five megabyte documents and you would get 32 pieces of five megabyte documents. All right, so that is answering C for you. Let's move to D. Now, this is, uh, consider the following paragraph. Um, and you can read the paragraph, but the question is asking us to state the steps in correct order required to find the number of words in the paragraph above using a word processing program. Now, if you're going to use a word processing program, you're going to need to select which one you're using. Just tell them which one you're using. Um, because you could use Microsoft Word, you could use Google Docs, whatever um, you're using. Just list the one that you are using and give them the steps for that one. How would you do that? You could highlight the paragraph, um, select the count word menu, and then click count words. For some device, if you highlight the, the paragraph and click the count word menu, it's already going to count it for you, bring it up so you don't have to click count words. 
Okay, so it, it pretty much depend on the um, device that you are using, the, the software, I'm sorry, that you are using. So decide on the software that you're using and then you can use the steps to count the number of words, All right? Um, so that is that for, all right, list the steps in the correct order to sp conduct a spell check on the paragraph above using a word processing program. So again, you're going to select the program that you're using, whether you're using Google Docs or you're using um, Microsoft Word. Um, to use Microsoft Word, which is most popular, um, you simply just um, highlight the, uh, the paragraph um, and do the spell check. So you're going to click review, spell check and grammar, and then click spell check. Again, for some devices, you don't have to click some... Um, software you don't have to click the spell check once you click review the spelling and grammar the checks will come up for you all right so we're moving nicely through question one and that's... and of course you see they give you the lines you could always put um step one step two step three just to be on the safe side all right so we're moving now to e e the following diagram illustrates the dialog box obtained when using the find and replace editing feature in a word processing program to replace all occurrences of the word print with the word produce in the paragraph in d on page five. Now the question asks us to briefly explain why it would be safer to use the replace option rather than the replace all option in the dialog box. Now, why would it be safer? That's the question we're asked. Why is it safer? Now replace is going to replace a single word, the word once. Now let's for argument's sake say we have the word information three times in a paragraph. If you click replace, it's going to remove, replace the word only once. So the other two information are going to remain. Um, so it's safer if you only want to remove one. And if you have the word more than once, that is when it is safer. Replace all is going to replace all of the words, all of the words information. If you have information three times, it's going to, once you it replace all, it's going to replace all three um, information. So if you only want to replace it once, replace is safer than replace all. All right, that gives you your two marks. And outline the steps needed to replace all occurrences of the word print with the word produce using the replace all option in the dialog box. Now for your three marks, if you want to replace, uh, what are we replacing? print with produce. Now, what you will need to do is to go ahead and highlight the words in the paragraph. And if you, if you click on the replace and Right, so if you are if you are replacing the word print with the word produce, all you need to do is to type in, go to the find and replace menu, hit replace, type in the word that you want to replace, then type in the word that you want to 
remove and then the word that you want to replace it with and then okay so that would simply be your steps the word that you want to remove you will type that in what you want to replace it with you're going to type that in and hit okay all right so your first step is go to find and replace and then you're going to select replace type in the word that you want to remove followed by the word that you want to replace and then okay i hope this was beneficial i hope i helped you in even a small way to clear up any misconception and i will see you in the next edition for question two until then don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm.